हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हेल एंड हार्टी एट होम आई नो यू ऑल आर ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर टूडेज वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लिसन टू अ स्टोरी टेकन फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश टेक्स बुक हनी सकल ऑफ ग्रेड सिक्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट लुक एट द गिवन पिक्चर यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट the domestic animals and the wild animals given in this picture we can see the list of animals here it's a lion a wolf a cat a dog a rabbit a tiger a bear a cow a giraffe and a goat yes try and find it out you can write it down check out which one is a domestic animal and which one is a wild animal i hope you are doing it okay now let me tell you the difference between domestic animals and wild animals domestic animals live near us like they live in a farm in a house or in a pen you know what is pen it is a small coop or a small earthen muddy hut made for keeping hens whereas wild animals live in nature or in jungle and they live of their own they are survived by themselves by eating other animals hunting other animals and fishing etc since time immemorial we know this fact that animals have been always helpful for us we have seen that in olden times pigeons were used to send messages horses were seen taking messages by the messengers and in warfare even in the present time we use horses for transportation also in army similarly camel known as the ship of desert are used for transportation bullocks ox are used in our agriculture fields elephants carry logs and also we have mules and donkeys for carrying luggage in the mountainous regions we have goats sheep for carrying luggage etc so we see that people have tamed animals for their use in different areas different animals have been tamed even in slow clad areas we have reindeers and sledge dogs we have yaks in sikkim that help in carrying load and luggage so dear students sometimes we feel that animals play a very important role in our lives to such an extent that the buffaloes in the east are called living tractors as they help us in plowing the fields we can say the association of man and animal is very old animals have always served the man in various ways the story we are going to start today is about a dog who wanted to have a master the title of the story is how the dog found himself a new master yes i repeat the title is how the dog found himself a new master the title sounds quite interesting okay tell me one thing if you want to choose a bodyguard for yourself what qualities would you search for in that bodyguard think and tell yes very good try i know your answer might be that he should be the most powerful the strongest the most protective and the most intelligent of all i hope i'm right in the same manner the desire of a dog in this story is to find a master that can be the most protective one on this earth and the most strongest one 
So let's move ahead. Before I begin with the story, I want to share an important fact with you. Look at the picture given below. You can see in the picture we have a dog and a wolf. Dogs and wolves belong to the same family. Rather, dogs have evolved from wolves. Another fact is that over the centuries, wild animals have been mastered and tamed by man. This story informs us how a dog changed to a tamed animal. Yes, the dog that we have nowadays was once a wild animal. How a dog changed from wild animal to a tamed animal is there in the story. So let me discuss the story. Dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with this way of life. He was sick and tired of wandering about by himself looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he. He thought it over and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth and he set out to find such a master. He walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce. Where are you going, dog? The wolf asked. I am looking for someone to take up service with. Would you like to be my master, wolf? I don't see why not, the wolf said. And this agreed upon. The two of them went on together. They walked and they walked. And all of a sudden, the wolf lifted his nose, sniffed, darted quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest. The dog was much surprised. What's come over you, master? he asked. What has frightened you so? Can't you see? There's a bear out there and he might eat up both of us, you and me. 5. Seeing that the bear was stronger than the wolf, the dog decided to take up service with him and he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master. The bear agreed to this readily and said, Let us go and find a herd of cows. I'll kill a cow and then we can both eat our fill. They walked on and soon have a herd of cows. But just as they were about to come up to it, they were stopped by a terrible noise. The cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all directions. The bear looked out from behind a tree and then he too ran hastily deeper into the forest. Now, why did I have to come here? said he to the dog. It is the lion who rules the forest in these parts. The lion? Who is he? Don't you know? He is the strongest beast on earth. Well, then I'll say goodbye to you, bear. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. And off the dog went to ask the lion to be his master. The lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long, long time. It was a good life and he had nothing to complain of for there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion and no one dared touch the dog or offend him in any way. But one day, the two of them were walking side by side along the path that ran amid bare cliffs when all of a sudden the lion stopped. He gave a great roar and struck the ground angrily with his paw with such force that a hole formed there. Then he began to back away very quietly. What is it, master? Is anything wrong? asked the dog, surprised. I smell a man coming this way, the lion said. We'd better run for it or we will be in trouble. Oh well, then I'll say goodbye to you, lion. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. And off the dog went to join the man and he stayed with him and served him faithfully. This happened long, long ago. But to this day, 
the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master after listening to the story let's understand it in olden times dogs were just like wolves and were forest dwellers they were bold free and were not afraid of anyone they were their own masters then one day a dog who was sick and was scared of other strong animals decided to look for a master who was the strongest on this earth to find his master he began his search and first of all he met a big wolf he asked him if he would like to be his master the wolf accepted him as a servant both of them started walking and on the way they met a bear the wolf tried to hide himself as soon as he noticed the bear on inquiring the reason the dog came to know that the wolf considered the bear to be stronger than him on this the dog felt that his choice of master is not correct he left the wolf and joined the bear very soon the dog found that the bear was afraid of the lion the dog immediately left him and went to the lion the lion agreed to accept him as his servant the dog lived with him happily for a long time as he enjoyed a secure and happy life the way he wanted the lion was the strongest animal in the forest once both of them were strolling amongst the rocks on a narrow path suddenly the lion saw a man and he asked the dog to run away with him to avoid any trouble as soon as the dog realized that the man was the strongest creature on the earth he said goodbye to the lion as well dog came to the man as his servant and lived as a faithful servant to him then after so friends i hope this story is clear we saw how a dog who enjoyed all the freedom and was his own master one day got sick of being scared and searching for food all alone so he decides to find a new master he met a wolf then he thought that the wolf is the strongest but realized that he was not the strongest then then he accepted a bear as his master later he found that the bear was not the strongest he was afraid of the lion then the dog changed his choice he went to the lion and spent a good time in his company but also realized that the lion was himself afraid of the man and finally he chose man to be his master now after reading and understanding the story we are here with some multiple choice based questions based on your understanding choose the correct answer for the given statement my first statement is first is the dog felt the need of the master in the story because options are a he was lazy b he needed a friend C he was tired of searching for food and was insecure D he needed support 
Yes, tell me. We all have read the story, understood it. Find out the correct option. Very good, try. It's C. He was tired of searching for food and was insecure. Next, Dash was chosen by the dog as his first master. Options are A. The lion B. The wolf C. The bear D. The man Yes, try. I know, you all know this answer. Very good, try. It is option B. The wolf was chosen by the dog as his first master. Next. The dog left the bear because options are A. It was ferocious. Ferocious means one who can attack, who is very aggressive animal, right? Next. It wanted to eat him. Next. It left the forest. Next, it was afraid of the lion. Yes, tell me. So tell me, the dog left the bear because, which is the correct option, find. Very good, try. It's D. It was afraid of the lion. Next, the dog served the lion for a longer time. As he felt that, options are A. The lion loved him very much. B. It was the strongest beast. C. It gave him plenty of food. D. It was a friendly beast. Yes, find out. Try. Very good. Try to recall the story. Yes, try. Find out the correct option. Very good. It's option B. The dog served the lion for a longer time as he felt that it was the strongest beast. Next. The dog finally chose man as his master as options are A. The dog found him the strongest than anyone on this earth. B. The man was affectionate. C. The man could think and act. D. The man could take him home. Yes. As per the story, try to find out which is the correct option. Very good. Yes, I know you all know this answer. It's A. The dog finally chose man as his master as the dog found him the strongest than anyone on this earth. So I hope you have enjoyed this activity. Okay students, now let's move to another activity. You have to complete the flowchart given below describing the sequence of the events taking place in this story. So, are you ready for it? Number 1. The dog did not like his life and wanted to have a dash. You have to complete it. Next, he chose dash as his first master but left him as it was afraid of the dash. Think and fill. Next, then he chose the bear as his dash master but left him too as he was afraid of the dash. Next, then he chose the lion as his dash master but he found 
the lion was dash of the man completed last is finally he chose dash as his final master and lived as a faithful dash to him then after try take your time and try before we discuss the answers very good try okay so let me help you out we can complete this flow chart like this a dog did not like this life and he wanted to have a master second he chose wolf as his master but left him as it was afraid of the bear next then he chose the bear as his second master but left him to as he was afraid of the yes he was afraid of the lion next he chose lion as his third master but he found the lion was afraid of the man next he finally chose man as his final master and lived as a faithful servant to him then after i hope you like this activity now let's move ahead students here are few statements read them with me and tell whether the given statement is true or false the first one is the dog wanted to rule the jungle think and tell whether it is true or false come on i know you can do it it's a false statement he never wanted to rule the jungle next the dog felt that wolf bears and lions should work for him is that true i again repeat the dog felt that wolf bears and lions should work for him is that true or false come on tell me based on the chapter you can answer this try very good it is a false statement he never wanted them to work for him next the wolf was afraid of bear and the bear was afraid of lion yes tell me whether it is true or false it is a true statement very good next the dog remains man's best friend yes this you all know i know this come on tell me whether it is true or false it is a true statement even in the present time we have dogs that are very much loyal and faithful to us right now it's time to do certain matchups you have to match the given words with the antonyms so the words are number 1 master number 2 strong number 3 panic and number 4 courage and the antonyms given are weak calm servants and fear so match them up i know you all can do it hurry up yes try okay let me help you out the antonym of the word masters will be tell me servants very good next word is strong check out what should be the antonym of the word strong match up hurry up it is weak very good next panic 
Yes. Try and match up. The answer is calm. And we are left with the last word that is courage. The answer is the antonym of the word courage is fear. Very good. Now, let's move ahead. In this activity, you have to change the given words from describing words or we can say them as adjectives into nouns. And also, you have to make a sentence. So, the first word is honest. Change this honest into a noun. Come on. Yes. It will be honesty. Now, you have to make a sentence of your own. The next word is kind. Change it. Change it into a noun. It can be kindness. Make a sentence of your own. For example, next word is happy. Now, I leave you with this word. Do it yourself. Change it into noun and make a sentence. Another word is active. Try. Change it into noun and make a sentence. I hope you can do this. Okay. Let's compare. First, let's understand what is a comparison or a simile. Simile is a figure of speech involving the comparison of one thing with another of a different kind used to make a description more vivid. For example, in our day-to-day -day lives, we use various comparisons. For example, we can say, He is as clever as fox. She is as beautiful as rose. She sings as sweet as nightingale. So all these comparisons are called simile. Now, here are a list of certain comparisons. Supply them within the given sentences to make a sensible simile or comparison. Let's read the sentences. She is as free as dash. He is as slow as dash. He is as hungry as dash. She is as gentle as dash. He is as brave as dash. So, the words given in the box are snail, bird, lamb, lion and wolf. We have to supply the suitable comparison in these blanks. Try. Let's try. Look at the first one. She is as free as bird. The correct answer is bird. Next. He is as slow. Yes, tell me. Find out the word that can be compared with something which is very slow. Check out the words in the box. He is as slow as snail. Snail moves really very slow. Next, he is as hungry as, find out the word, as wolf. Next, she is as gentle as, choose the word, yes, as lamb. Lamb is considered to be very innocent animal and very gentle. Last, he is as brave as, what is the correct option? Lime. I hope you all have enjoyed this activity and you have understood the similes or comparisons. 
So dear friends, I hope today's video and story is liked by you all. In today's story, we learn how the dogs finally chose man and started living with him as his faithful servants. Based on this, you have to draw a poster describing how dog has been helpful to man in various ways. We all have seen dogs as a pet animals as well. So you have to draw a poster. You can also write in the poster. You can describe through image how dog has been helpful to man in various ways. So with this beautiful idea, I leave you here and promise to come with another interesting video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and enjoy reading. Thank you.